here's my main breaker panel and uh, as you can see everything is uh, clearly labeled and organized I know my panel very well because uh, I've been part of designing every single circuit in this house and um, what Solar City has done here is they bring in this 240 volt uh, 35 amp circuit that's the output from the solar panels uh, which goes into the inverter and converts it to AC and then it comes here so you could see they wrapped it with a yellow tape which is a nice touch that's their company logo color and uh, from that you could see I'm not near if you're wondering um, you, uh, if you notice four wires come out of it two faces the red and the black and green is the ground and white is the neutral if you track the ground it goes all the way down into the existing ground wire that goes down to the actual ground of the house so that's a good move they crimped it to that wire right there that's perfect and uh, the white wire goes down here loops back up comes back and it goes into the bus here which is correct you know, with, along with the, all the other neutral um, the two faces uh, red and the black comes here and goes to a two pole um, 35 amp circuit right here is a circuit breaker so there's two phases coming out of that that's how you connect a 240 volt just like you would do for a dryer or an air conditioning unit or uh, a sub box that I have here is also that connected that way so uh, that's how they tie it into the grid and the current that generates uh, generated from solar city panels goes in here and connects to the electricity grid and as you can see BG and D line comes here uh, so they all you know gets into one big pot um, how do we calculate what goes in what goes out here's where the interesting part comes in uh, solar city's inverter that's the step before this outside that calculates how much uh, is feeding through here on the other hand uh, BGND smart meter calculates how much stuff is coming into this, which is your usual electric meter. However, Solar City also added one more thing, a little box here, if you notice, that um, the box has in a couple of wires going up here, and then it puts two clamps on the main BGND, which is the electric utility company's faces. Uh, it's just like any of those amp meter, the clamp amp meter that goes like that. Um, it's exactly that. It measures the amperes, uh, the current that's coming through that particular phases. So that way, Solar City can tell how much BGND is providing versus how much they are pushing as well to show in your app what's going on. So this little box then transmits its data to the little receiver on the Ethernet port on the router, and then the <coughs> data goes to <coughs> Solar City and it'll reflect on your app. The uh, electrician has done a good job putting you know proper grounding neutral phases uh, good breaker everything so I say it's a pretty good job the a um, uh, couple of concerns I have with the way the solar city electrician did this is one as you could see you know uh, my panel and I take pretty good care in routing the wires you know putting it on the corners all the you know neutral this way faces this way and you can see it was a pretty clean panel until these uh, these wires started popping up all over the place and he didn't even bother pushing it or he just you know clumped it down here you could shorten it easily but they just shoved it in there all the way to put these two uh, clamps in there um, that's kind of I and mean, it's not a big deal but it could have been done a little more aesthetically pleasing. Um, the other problem I do have uh, with the way they did this is this box gets its power from one of these circuits, any random circuit. Uh, in, in my case, what the electrician has done is he took the power from the washer circuit. As you can see, this little wire that comes out of here goes to a wire net. This is a newer style wire net with a crimp connection in it. So it goes in here and then the actual washer uh, wire gets hooked up to that piggy backed into that and then another line goes to power the box so the box and the washer both gets wire netted to 
this little wire here that goes into the breaker. The problem I have with this is, if you notice carefully here, um, this is the washer wire. This is 20 amp rated 12 gauge wire. But what happens here is, this is what I had it in here, in the washer circuit, and it's a 20 amp circuit, as you can see. 20 amp circuits require, by code, a 12 gauge wire. Here what he has done is he has taken an 18 gauge wire here. Maybe it's 16, but it looks 18. And you can see how tiny it is compared to this wire. And then he pushed that into here, into the breaker. So basically my 20 amp circuit is operating now on this six inches of uh, um, 18 gauge wire which I'm not a big fan of but I don't think he's done anything too wrong because of the length of the circuit it, it's only uh, four inches or six inches at the most I don't think it's going to affect much but as a good practice I would have kept uh, uh, 12 gauge wire all the way to the circuit instead of using this tiny wire he could have easily done that uh, so that's that's one problem I have with the way they did this uh, particular circuit. Other than that, uh, when the inspector from the county comes, uh, let's see if he spots that and says anything about it. If not, uh, it should be good to go. Uh, I will make sure I call my master electrician to go over this once uh, everything is done. And if that has to be changed, I'll ask him to change that. All right. So that's uh, how the electrical panel of Solar City looks. And this particular box here is transmitting its transmission all the way to this little box uh, that Solar City puts in place, the receiver that gets hooked up to the router through that blue Ethernet wire. That's what transmits to the Solar City central office itself. So that's how we uh, get all the information from this box and from the inverter uh, gets received in that. Uh, Ethernet connection over there. So that's it, guys. The review for the electrical panel of the house that Solar City tapped into. Solar City is back today in the house for inspecting the installation. So, this is a quality control person inspecting the inverter, inspecting the panels, and everything done. So, I did mention my little concern about the circuit box to him. Let's see if they do anything about it. The control person is checking every single installation and uh, all the panels and the wiring, all that stuff. So today the county inspector is here on the left and Solar City is also here to inspect the system. This is after installation so they're going to check the panel and everything the county inspector will approve and then it moves on to BGND's uh, approval which is the electric utility company's approval after that. So BGND is replacing the net meter. So I'm going to take a little video and of this. And then this will meter. come up all zeros. Okay. It starts so out all zeros. So you had to reassign this to match the, the numbers from this. Okay. Like that 2O number I gave you, mm -hmm. it's added on to whatever this does for gotcha. the rest of the meter. So the old meter was a BGND's uh, GE meter. GE. This is called a Landis and Gear. So Landis and Gear makes the net meter. And they that, both make it, but we're out of the GE train. Oh, okay. So, so they put this in. Yeah, not sure. Instead of buying from just one company, they buy from two. two. So it has a sticker on it that actually says net meter. Yes, yes. 
So if somebody come up here like a lineman to see what was up, they would know that you have to report what's going on. All right. So they put the crimp on so I don't touch it later. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter <laughs> <Yeah>. nowadays. <laughs> Thank you for calling customer care. This is Christina speaking. How may I help you? Hi, uh, I'm calling to see um, if I could um, start turning the system on. Right, today's the day I'm going to turn on the power for Solar City. I'm on the phone with Solar City, and uh, it's going to happen today. We're gonna right, turn. Are you the... home? Yeah, uh, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Let me bring up the drawings. So BGND came and finished their connection, and uh, they swapped the meter from regular meter to a net meter, and. Uh, oh. Once they are done, only thing remaining is to turn this right, on so and to turn this on. Turn on your inverter, so that's the biggest box that we installed and it has a screen on the front of it. There's going to be a knob that you can turn to the on position. Okay, so I'm going to turn that to on now. Right. All right. So... The next thing that we need to do is we're going to be looking for a smaller box and it has a handle on the side. Um, I... Let me make sure this is turned on. Hold on. I don't... Okay. I turned it on position, but there's nothing coming on into the... Uh, on yeah, the LCD. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, because we still have to turn other things on. Alright. Um, so we, we need to find that smaller box with the handle on the side. We call it um, a disconnect. Right. So, I'm turning that on. Okay. That's on right, now. Perfect. The next thing we need to do is go to your main breaker panel. Okay. Alright. The the main breaker panel is already on. Okay, perfect. So we just need to go back to your inverter and see what it's saying right now. Okay. All right, it's still waking up. It says uh, 220 seconds left. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we need. So it's just gonna it's gonna count down and then it will turn on. But that's all we need to do. Um, okay. And I see that your gateway is connected. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go over with you about billing. Okay. Um, for a power purchase agreement, we need one full month of production before we can bill you. Okay. Uh, today's August 11th, so that'd be August 11th to September 11th. But um, since it's in the middle of our billing period, uh -huh. what we're actually going to do is combine um, August with September. Okay, we'll so it'll be October 1st, you'll bill? No, so you'll receive the bill in the middle of October, and then it will be due November 1st. Oh, November 1st. Okay, for, so it'll be due in November 1st, but that's for the period up till... October 1st, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Right. Okay, can I help you with anything else today? No, nothing else. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. You too. So I just talked with Solar City and uh, you know, everything is good to go. The system is turned on. It doesn't show anything here. You need to press the button, green button on the bottom for it to show turn on the screen and show what's going on uh, right now I don't know if you can see it but it still says waking up um, close enough it's 30 seconds left um, bottom line and it'll start showing how much it's generating we'll see that in less than half a minute and we could see it's producing at this point so you're getting um, 247 volts and uh, 100 and I'm sorry, 1,900 watts range. So it's producing 1,000 
900 watts at this point. This is a fairly um, dim day, you know, it's cloudy day and close to 2000 watts protection. That's awesome. All right, so the final step is done. I'm pretty happy. I'll keep monitoring and uh, keep updating on the performance of the solar panels.